Yay. Hey folks, I'm here with my friend Joe at Humberview Volkswagen on the Queensway. Joe, what do we got here today? It's the 2019 Golf R, my personal favorite in the lineup. It's, uh, it's basically the car to get if you need a family-friendly race car. Okay, so we got a Golf, which is essentially a hatchback, yep. two, two box design. Mm -hmm. um, what's under the hood? Well, it's just a two liter, but there's a lot of boost involved. So it's, it's 288 horsepower, 280 foot pound of torque, and it's all wheel drive. So it's really unstoppable. <laughs> wow, okay, so we got a Golf with nearly 300 horsepower. Exactly. All wheel drive, you yep. have to set it? You Like, how, how does nope. that work? You don't think about it. If the front slips, it sends power to the rear. Wow, so that just does it all for you. Exactly. Okay, well, why don't you tell us a little bit about this uh, fantastic interior as well? Sure. The 2019 Golf R, you get the premium Volkswagen interior with piano black finishes, the latest version of the infotainment system coupled with the new digital cockpit. And you can see the navigation screen looks great over here, but one design feature that's really great is you can actually choose to throw the map into the digital cockpit so that you have a better view of it. Uh, you can also customize it by shrinking or growing the gauges depending on your preference. And it's great when you're when you're driving, it's a lot easier to quickly look down at the map there in front of you than it is to look over into the traditional screen off to the side. Amazing. So it's it's a golf uh, it's 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 not really a golf because it's got quite a lot more to it. But uh, for for the consumer out there, what's the why of their buy on this? What what is yeah. it that they're doing? What what is it that they comment on? That's a good question. So I usually, if people are completely unfamiliar with the Golf R and they just can't understand how there's a golf at this price point, usually I make reference to the Audi S3 because mm -hmm. a lot of people will know of that car. And essentially, this is an Audi S3 but as a hatchback, as a VW. Right. Right, and you get all of the same performance at a much more attractive price point. And in fact, it has some things that the Audi doesn't have. For example, if you want to stay with manual transmission, we have that. Uh, you know, if you're a little bit on the taller side, there's quite a bit more headroom in right. the hatchback format. Yeah. Even though it's the same chassis, it's Yeah, I can wear different. a cowboy hat in here. Like it's, no it's, a, it's a big, tall yeah. golf still. Yeah. And uh, the sunroof will never leak, uh, mostly because you can't get a sunroof. <laughs> okay. Right now you're in drive, but you can override it anytime you want. If you need a couple of quick downshifts to pass a truck, no problem, just do it. Oh my lord. That's rather impressive, actually. Yeah, exactly. I, I'm not used to that kind of grip. My car's a two-wheel drive car. Yeah, and if you and want to go back into automatic, just hold the upshift for two seconds. Oh yeah, look at that. It flips right back. Exactly. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, that's fantastic. And if you're in manual mode, it's not going to desert you. In other words, if you run it right up to the red line and forget that you're in manual mode, it will grab the next gear. Oh, fantastic. If you try to downshift one time too many, it just ignores it. And this is this is all standard on, on the R. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the ride of the car is very nice as well. Like, it's firm, but it's not, like, terribly firm for a, a, what is very much a very racy car. Yeah, it's true. And, you know, further to that, if you need to adapt the ride to a really rough road or, you know, other conditions, when you change it from comfort to normal to race, it actually has an adaptive suspension that changes the damping. So, you know, if you're going over streetcar tracks or the road's just full of potholes, mm -hmm. throw it in comfort. It, you'll, you'll notice how much softer it gets. So... So the Golf R does actually have magnetic ride. That's right. That's yeah, incredible. So the, it, it only changes the damping. You don't get to change the ride height. Yeah. You know, but uh, it still makes a huge difference. I'll throw it in comfort right now. Yeah, for and, sure. And, uh, you know, if you hit a pothole or two, you might actually notice it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Well, I, I, I think one of the things that I always like to mention about like, dampening is that dampening is referring to your shock absorbers. Some people Correct. hear dampening, and well, what does that mean? But essentially, magnetic ride allows you to select the comfort level and the amount of, 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 of shock absorption the shocks actually have. So you literally exactly. change the ride of the vehicle. Yeah, very much so. Yeah. You know, it uh, combined with making the exhaust quieter and a few other things, it really does change the character of the car. Absolutely. So I've, I've made a joke before, you know, if you need to take grandma to church, you can put it in comfort, and she'll think it's a calm, sensible, quiet car. Yeah. And then as soon as she gets out, you put it in race, and you can be a bit of a... a <laughs> not, not that we would ever be hooligans in our in our golf bars. You know, within the law. Of within course. the law, of course. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs>
Wow, this was really fantastic. I mean, I've always loved the Golf, but uh, adding 300 horsepower is definitely pretty nice. It makes for an all-around great vehicle. Uh, but uh, but why don't you tell the folks a little bit about yourself? Yeah, sure. Well, again, my name is Joe Warner. I work here at Humberview Volkswagen in Etobicoke. And, uh, you know, it would be my pleasure to show you any of the cars in the lineup, but especially the R. <laughs> uh, you know, if you have any interest, reach out. I'm happy to work with you. I can definitely say Joe will look after you. Thank you very much, Joe. My pleasure. Really appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks, Steven. Yeah, eh? Shakespeare and his antics.